What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. This is our first time going fishing together since Jay had baby C yep. and we're both very excited but we have her mom baby sitting this afternoon. We don't have a whole lot of time to fish so we decided to come over to this juicy spillway and try to do some crappie fishing. The water level looks great today. It's been kind of crappy for the last week or so. Crappy. That's kind of kind of a nice little pun right there, isn't it? <laughs> but what's fun about today is we're going to be attacking these crappie with two different approaches. I'm going to actually be throwing live bait. I've got a minnow bucket right here full of some delicious minnows look how nasty my minnow bucket yeah, is so gross. it's been sitting in the lake literally for like four years and that's what happens to a minnow bucket when it sits out there for that long and then jay she doesn't like to minnow fish very much yeah i do but i'm Not gonna that throw much. a jig but you don't like to do it that much right she always is like i would rather throw a jig i'd rather throw a jig and i personally would rather throw a jig also but we figured it'd be nice to kind of do maybe like a little challenge and just kind of see what happens if i throw minnows the whole time and she throws jigs the whole time without giving up on that presentation. I'm hoping that I don't get absolutely slayed though because this is the slab queen here we're dealing with and the jig Better usually catches out. more fish than minnows. Yeah. But you never know. We could shock ourselves today. We can maybe catch some big ones. And uh, yeah, we're both just really excited to be out here fishing today. You can probably tell in the tone of our voice, we're both very excited to just be outside Yeah. and uh, be out here. Let's get after it. Let's catch some fish. Hope y'all are excited for today's episode. If y'all are, do us a humongous favor. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's catch some biggins. Let's go fishing. <laughs> All right, so we have made it out here into the river. There's the spillway right there. And so the reason why I decided to walk out here is because the wind is blowing in our face. It's kind of stopped right now, but um, I'm trying to be as close to the fishing spot as possible. So there's a little break right there. And that's my primary area where I'm gonna be tossing the minnows out. And I'm thinking, you know, if I'm closer to this spot, I don't have to worry about getting wind drag, I don't have to worry about the current dragging my line. And honestly, I'm closer to the fish. I don't have to make as long of a bomb cast. I don't have to worry about my minnow falling off. We'll grab a minnow. I've got a size one crappie hook right here and we're just going to stick the minnow in the back like this and then I have it suspended below this big weighted bobber about two and a half feet and just toss them out into the break and we see what happens. Hopefully there'll be some crappie out there. I feel like there should be a bunch. I feel like this could get dirty really quickly. Let's just see how this plays out. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hooked up on the minnow. Doesn't feel super huge. Oh, it feels, he got some head shakes. He got some little baby head shakes. Let's see what this guy looks like. Using a light rod. Oh, it's a good one. That's a good one. A really nice fish. Let's go. <laughs> Waited out here below the spillway, up to my thighs, tossing out some crappie minnows. And that was like, right off the bat, we got ourselves a good one. Awesome, let's get them strung up. Let's get back out there. There we go. Fish on, fish on. Smoked it. That bobber popped so hard. <laughs> I think this is smaller than the last one, but maybe not. Oh, it's a nice one. They're fooling me. They're just coming to the surface and they're running like crazy. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Come to daddy. Woo. Hey, go right where you want it, right in the top of the lip. That's another nice white crappie fish number two on the minnow out here waited out here below the spillway what a beautiful fish what a slab oh gosh oh gosh oh my gosh if this is a crappie it's a big it's a big it's a big one Oh dear. Oh dear. Don't lose this one. Don't grab the line. Just walking through the bank. The slab queen is back in action. Oh my goodness. I think I have my camera tilted down. My bad. But hey, I just caught this really nice white crappie. He is so beautiful. Wow. Now, this may be the only fish that I've caught so far, but hey, it's a dandy. <laughs> you guys definitely know what we're going to do with this fish. We gotta put him in the bucket. In the bucket. Woo! Got him. Got him. Got him. He was swimming to me. He was swimming to me. I think this is a dink though. It's a little guy. He, he didn't even pull the bobber down. He was just swimming right to me. Yeah, just a little guy. 
not what we're after. Well, we're after the we're after the crappie, but we're after the billions, after the slabs. Probably about seven and a half incher. Nothing crazy. Got him. Got him. Got him. I think this might be a keeper. I don't know. No, he's a little guy. Well, well, surprise me again. We got another keeper, folks. Another keeper on the minnow. Surprised me. That's a solid one. Really solid fish. Smoked it. Fish on. Fish on. This is definitely a little guy. Definitely a little squeaky guy, unfortunately. We'll see you. He bit that thing as soon as it hit the water. <laughs> I think I got a good spot right there. That's a nice one. Definitely going to be a good one. And he bit it as soon as it hit the water. There's a really calm spot out there. I just noticed it's so windy. I can hardly tell where the calm spot is. He just munched it. Let's go. Nice one. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Little guy. Not quite bucket worthy, but wow. Look at the coloring on that fish. My goodness. Beautiful. Woo. Got him. How big is he? Oh, oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Stay on, buddy. Stay on here, buddy. It's so weird. I'm sitting the hook with so much slack because the current's pulling my line. Oh, he's pulling. He's pulling. Golly. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Woo! -hoo. Yes. That is what we want, my friends. Beautiful slab crappie. Got that hook just barely in the corner of his mouth. That is what's up. Get ourselves a nice stringer full of crappie out here today. Slide him down there. This is just so awesome. It's been so long since I've just committed to throwing minnows all day. And mainly because it's kind of slow paced for what I usually like. I like to throw a jig. I like to be you know, actively working my bait. But the bite today has been just good enough for me to commit to it. fish <laughs> that's a good one another good one he's on the surface he's on the surface come here i love when they bite it as soon as it hits the water it's like they're sitting there waiting for it yes oh don't fall in the water coleslaw there we go we just caught a nice white crappie now we got ourselves a decent black crappie That was a weird bite, but hey, hey, check that out. Another nice one for the bucket. It's only my second one of the day. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot. Ready, steady, heck yeah. Biggin', biggin', biggin'. That's a big crappie. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. I think it's the biggest one I've caught all day. Don't know for sure, but it feels like the biggest one I've caught all day. Come here. Oh, big, 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 big. Come here. Woohoo! We got him. Yes. I think that is the biggest one I've caught all day. It's not like a mega slab by any means, but a very, very quality sized white crappie. He smoked that man. That bobber went down so fast. That is awesome. Let's get another one like that last one. Right here. Right here. I can feel it. Oh, I get him? Yeah, I got him. I got him. I thought I missed him, but I got him. You got him. Might be a keeper. Yep, it is. It is. Get in here, big fella. They're starting to bite really good. It's too bad I'm running out of minnows. Running out of time and running out of minnows. That's the only thing about minnow fishing. Once you run out of bait, you're done. And you only get like one cast or one fish per minnow, but that's all right. 
it's worth it. It's fun. Got him. Got him. Be a good one. Be a good one to end it on. Be a good one to end it on. Come on, big guy. Yes. Yes. Get in here. Woo. And with that, guys, we have done it. We've got ourselves a nice mess of crappie. I am out of minnows, out of time. That's a good one. That's a great one to end it on. Let's get him strung out. Let's uh, let's crawl out of this river here without falling in, drowning or something weird like that. And uh, let's get back home. Let's take these guys home. Let's get them cleaned up. And let's get them ready for the table. Take a look at the fish that I caught out there. I think it was definitely well worth the wait. It was a little bit sketchy getting oh, yeah. out there. Um, definitely some slippery rocks and some deep cracks that I didn't really know about. But we got the job done and I'm very glad that I went out there because I don't think I would have been able to catch these fish had I not gotten out there. Um, I think I got about 10 or 12 on my stringer and that's definitely not bad for about an hour's work. Um, now these guys are not mega slabs, but these are in our opinion the best sized crappie to keep for the table and that's exactly what we're fixing to do. We're going to take these guys back home, we're going to cut up and we are going to cook them up some sort of delicious way. You can't beat a stringer full of delicious slab crappie in the springtime. So let's get these guys in the buckets, pack up all of our gear, and let's get out of here. All right, fellas, y'all know the deal. It is the next morning. We've had our crappie sitting here in this cooler full of ice overnight, and they are ready to be cleaned. We've got the Bubba electric knife in hand. We've got ourselves a bowl of water here at this nice little cleaning table, as well as a little gut bucket down there to throw the remains. Let's pull a fish out, show you guys what we are working with. We didn't really give y'all a great look at the fish. Uh, let's string her up close, but I think this is our biggest one of the day. And you know who caught it, the Slab Queen caught the biggest of the day, like always. She wasn't catching the numbers yesterday, but she was catching the good ones. So we got that guy, we got a couple other nice ones here. Get a little double handful. A little black crappie action, a little white crappie action. For those of you who don't know, the black crappie have the speckling pattern on the scale. It's more mottled, and then the white crappie will have these more vertical bars on the sides right there. So some really nice fish. I counted them up. We have exactly a dozen crappies, so very proud of that number. We threw back a whole bunch. I think we probably caught uh, maybe 30 crappie in an hour and a half and um, kept a dozen, so that is a great number. So let's go on ahead. Let's jump right into this cleaning process, get them all whipped up, and then we will get ready to cook them up. So I just finished cleaning up all the fish. I got them all rinsed off and now it is time to cook a few up for lunch today. So on today's menu, we are going to be making some delicious fish sandwiches, AKA the Slabby Patty. So I've got a couple of big fillets here in the bag. I've got the rest inside in a bowl, just kind of rinsing off a little bit more. I think we're gonna end up just sealing those and putting them in the freezer for another day. Um, but we're excited for lunch. We haven't had fish sandwiches in a while. And like I said, I got two really big fillets here in the fish mix. I've got the deep fryer down here, I think it's just about heated up. So all we have to do now is just throw these guys in there, let them cook for three or four minutes, and then we will be ready to build up our delicious sandwiches. So let's knock these guys in the hot grease. Let's get this show on the road. Those fellas are looking great. Let's take a look at them. Oh, baby, look at that. Crispy golden brown. That kind of curled up on me. That's not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. They'll be all right. They'll still fit on the sandwich just fine. Let's get them on the tray here without getting any grease on my feet. Got the toes out today. Check out the chocolate tan line, guys. Look at that. It's coming in full force. But in other news, we've got ourselves a couple of delicious looking crappie fillets. That was off one of the slabs that Jay caught yesterday. All right, we're ready to build our slabby patties up. We have the fish fillets already on the buns. We have some pickles sliced up. We have some other assorted items we're gonna throw on top of the sandwiches. Also, Jay is behind the camera right now. She's got baby C in hand. We will turn the camera around and show you guys him in just a moment. But let's go ahead and build these sandwiches up. This one here is mine. Put some pickles on there. I'm pretty simple when I make these. I just like to add pickles and then I like to add the Slappy Mama wet sauce onto the patty. Just shake that on there. Oh, God. Spicy. Ooh. Spicy. And that right there will do it for me. I'm not much of a lettuce guy, but that right there looks mighty perfect to me. 
Mm. Go ahead and give that a big bite, just so you can see how delicious it is. Here we go, ready? So good? Mm-hmm. So dang good. Sloppy patties on fire. That sloppy mama wet sauce is the deal. So good. So Jay likes to make hers a little bit differently, but since she has the baby in one hand, I'm gonna make it for her. So what she likes to do is she likes to get some of this Louisiana tartar sauce. And she likes to spread that onto the bun. I think it's almost empty. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. I'm not much of a tartar sauce guy either. <laughs> <laughs> then we will get some lechuga, aka lettuce. She likes that lettuce. That look good? Yeah, that's great. Okay, perfect lettuce. And then what do we have in here? Tomatoes. Red bean for tomato. You want this big old meaty one yeah. right there? Okay, just simply plop that guy on there. I love tomatoes. And then you have to garnish it with the pickles. How's that? Mmm, that's great. Okay, I'm gonna eat this one. Okay. <laughs> and then just smash that bun on there. Woo! Boom, and what we'll do is um, we'll trade. I'll take the baby and I'll let you take a bite of okay. your sandwich so you can see if I made it up to your standards. <laughs> so here's Jay with baby C, looking fine. Look at you. Hi. Look at the little baby I'm burrito. A burrito. Look at that. He's in his cute little burrito swaddle. Aww. <laughs> He's had a good morning. Yes, he has. He's a good baby. He's a good baby boy. He's like, I want some of this fish sandwich y'all are talking about. Soon. One day soon. One day soon you can have some of this delicious fish sandwich. <laughs> All this fish made you come out healthy. Yeah. Be a bunch of fish so you'd be a healthy baby. Be smart. Aww. He said, I don't like the wind. The wind's kind of blowing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm hungry. Let me try this sandwich real okay. quick. Okay. Here you, you, you go. Be, I'll take the baby. Okay, I was about to hand call the camera, but look, they just look so cute. Oh my goodness. That I got you. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. This little boy here, he's gonna be slaying some slabs real soon. Some big oh, bass. Oh yeah. Y'all need to y'all need to get him get a contract lined up for him already, guys. <laughs> if y'all are wanting to get a get a deal going, you want to lock him up early. He's gonna be a stud. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> You can catch the big old fishies. Yeah. Sound this boy to a long multi-year deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. okay. All right, now you gotta multitask. Yeah, okay, let's see if I can do this. I haven't done this yet. Here, I'm gonna take the camera. Here we go. There's Jay. And she's gonna get her a little nibble of that slabby patty. She coined the term slabby patty, by the way. Don't let anybody fool you. Yeah. She came up with a slabby patty. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. Super satisfying? Mm-hmm. Great lunch. It's honestly been a long time since we had a sloppy patty. I know, it's been a couple months it's it feels like. It's been a couple like. months. So this is a treat. A real treat. Mmm. That's so crunchy. And yours, looks, yours just looks so good. I mean, as far as like the aesthetics go of a fish sandwich, yours is a 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. You're a 10 out of 10 too. Thanks. <laughs> Well, I think it's safe to say that the Slabby Patties were a home run today for yes. lunch. They were so good, they were super fresh, and it was definitely a treat we haven't had them in quite some time. So definitely nice to change the palate up a little <laughs> bit. But guys, we hope you all enjoyed hanging out with us today and yesterday out there on the river. We, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of time to fish, but we were glad that we were able to catch some fish for y'all and bring them home and cook them up. And we will definitely be heading back out there again real soon since the fish seem to be biting out yeah. there. Yeah, Like sure. I said, Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you all enjoyed it, do us a huge favor, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're calling Jay. Jay. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye guys. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.